All right, so in this video, we're going to look at condensing logarithms. So here we have some logarithmic properties. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go from this side to this side. Okay. So if we have the log of n with base b plus the log of n with base b, if it's split up using addition, that comes together as multiplication. We multiply the two. And if it's subtraction, if it's split up using subtraction, that comes together as division. Whatever's behind a minus sign goes, goes across the, in the denominator. And then here, if we have a number multiplied in front, this property is saying we can take this, uh, we can take this and put it back into the exponent to this side. All right, so let's look at the first problem. All right, we got natural log x plus natural log 3. So since this is split up using addition, the property says we can bring this together as multiplication. So that would be x times 3. So that would be the natural log, and I'm just going to write it as 3x. We usually write the number in front of the variable. All right, and there's my answer. All right, let's look at number two. So here we have log of x plus seven minus log x. This is split up using subtraction, so that comes together as division. And so that's going to be the log of the three x plus seven over, and this is after the minus sign, so the x goes to the denominator. So we get log 3x plus 7 over x. And there's my answer. All right, number 3. All right, so here, notice here how we have the numbers in front. So we're going to have to use that property that says we can put these numbers into the exponent. And that's the first thing we need to do. All right, so that's going to be log x to the fifth plus log y to the fifth, and we have base b on each one of them. Okay, I'm sorry, not a five here, that's y to the sixth. All right, so you see now this is split up using addition. So that comes together as multiplication. So we multiply the x to the fifth and the y to the sixth. So that's log x to the fifth times y to the sixth with base b. And there's our answer. All right, let's look at four. All right, same thing here. We're going to take these numbers in front, and we're going to throw them back into the exponent. So that's natural log x to the seventh minus natural log y cubed. And then this is split up with subtraction, so that comes together as division. So that's natural log x to the seventh over, and since this one is after the minus sign, the y cubed goes to the denominator. And there's your answer. All right, let's look at number five. All right, so first thing, we're going to take the numbers in front that's multiplied, and we're going to throw them, throw them back into the exponents. So that gives us natural log x to the fourth plus natural log y to the seventh minus natural log z cubed. All right, now remember anything that has an addition sign in front of it gets multiplied. Anything that has a, has a minus sign in front of it is going across the denominator. And so this is going to be natural log x to the fourth, y to the seventh. Let me write that four a little better. Okay. 
So that was plus, so that's going to get multiplied over, and since that's a minus, the z cubed is going to the denominator. And that's your answer. All right, let's look at number six. All right, so here we've got one third, all of that times this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the one third. So this is going to be five thirds. One third times five is five thirds. Natural log x plus six minus one third natural log x minus one third natural log x squared minus five. Okay, so I cleared these brackets here. Okay. All right. So now we need to take each one of these and throw them back, throw them into the exponents. All right. So this is going to be natural log x plus 6 to the 5 thirds minus natural log x to the 1 third minus natural log x squared minus 5 to the 1 third. Okay. So this is going to be natural log and this is going to be x plus 6 to the 5 thirds. Okay. So now remember anything with a minus in front of it is going to go across the denominator. So that's over x to the 1 third. See it has a minus in front of it so x to the 1 third goes to the denominator. And this one has a minus in front of it so the x squared minus 5 to the 1 third goes to the denominator. Okay. All right, so now we're here. Now, just depending on what your teacher wants, they may they may let you leave it like this. I don't know. You'll have to you can ask them. But what we'll do is we'll take each one of these and we'll rewrite them as a radical. And so this is going to be natural log and that's going to be the cube root of x plus 6, all of that raised to the fifth. Okay, I converted this to radical form. That's this property. a to the m over n is equal to the nth root of a raised to the m. Okay, see, whatever the denominator of your fraction is, is the index of the radical, and then this is your exponent outside the numerator. So see my denominator was 3, that's the index. In, in the numerator, on the exponent I have a 5, so that's this power out here. And then this is over, let me change colors, this is over, and this is going to be the cube root of x, that's the property that says a to the 1 over n is equal to the nth root of a. Okay. So, and that's what this is. See, 1 over, 1 over. Whatever that denominator is, is the index on your radical. And then this one would be the cube root of x squared minus 5. And so here's your answer, or if your teacher allows it, they may let you leave it like that. Alright, so here's the last problem. Alright, so we can see here that we don't have, we don't have any numbers in front of the log, so there's nothing to throw in the exponent. So this is just going to be log and remember, if it's plus, it's going to get multiplied across the numerator. So that's x, and see how that's a plus? So this gets multiplied, x squared minus 1, over, and then see how this has a minus? So it goes to the denominator, 
this has a minus in front, so the x plus 1 goes in the denominator. Okay, And so we have the log of this. Now, look at this. You see this x squared minus 1? Watch this. That's log x. x squared minus 1 factors into x minus 1 times x plus 1 over 7 times x plus 1. And look what happens. The x plus 1's cancel. And so I'm left with the log of x times x minus 1 over 7. And there's your answer. And yeah, you know, if you wanted to, you could distribute the x and have x squared minus x over 7. Alright, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks.